So today I'm doing half my face with cream products and the other half with powder products. Now, I don't know how this is gonna work, but I thought this would be super interesting to do my kind of general everyday, like, well not everyday, but like products that I would use for like contour and then try and find like a cream version and see how they kind of perform. Now I am gonna be trying to create a very similar look on either side, so we're gonna see how this goes. It is gonna be a bit of a challenge, but it's gonna be really interesting to see the outcome. If you do like the idea of this video, then please do give it a massive thumbs up. That would make me so incredibly happy. Also, before we hop in, I would just like to apologize if it's a bit echoey. It's not the end of the world, but I have just moved, so there's not much in this room, but that is going to change very, very soon. I have got two mics on all at different angles, trying to just kind of counteract it. So I'm really sorry if it's annoying, but it won't be like this next time. So I'm probably gonna do this in a bit of a weird order, but I am gonna start with my brows, which I don't usually do, but today we're gonna go for it. And I've decided this side's gonna be the powder side, and this side is going to be the cream side. So, on, well, cream and liquid. So on the cream and liquid side, I'm using the Steeler Stay All Day Waterproof Brow Color. And then on the powder side, I'm using the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder. So we're going to see how these perform against each other. So starting with the cream side, I, I don't know how I'm going to do this, I've never really used a liquid, look, I don't really get it, I've never used a liquid brow product like this, this is so odd, I literally feel like I'm using a felt tip, uh, does it brush through, I mean kind of, this is cool though, I like the concept, I like being able to just kind of draw underneath, that's fun, now I've probably made this really difficult myself because liquid product, I could have just used my brow pomade, but you know, that's no fun. So this is super easy to like underline with. And then I'm just kind of filling in where I see spaces, but I don't want to do it too thick. I don't quite know how I feel about this because it's almost like it's too easy. It, quite, it looks quite dark, but then again, my brows are dark. So I don't know why I'm moaning about that. But that is the eyebrow. That was really quick, actually. That was so easy. I'm moving on to this side. So I haven't actually used a brow powder, really, since using the Benefit Browsing. So I'm going to do the darker kind of half on the outer side of my brow and kind of underneath to get some shape. This is the third one, so it's not the darkest shade, but it's like the one before the darkest. That was so easy. I'm literally done. But now we've reached our, our first hurdle because I can't clear this one up because I don't have a powder concealer. Or like, well, would you even be able to do it with powder concealer? So this brow's just staying as it is and if I decide to clean this one up, I can, but I can't do that one, which is so weird. This is such an odd concept. Moving on to the eyes. So of course, eyeshadow on the powder side is gonna be super simple. I'm using the Stila Matte and Metal Eyeshadow Palette. Now they have some gorgeous colors in here like some sh lovely shimmers and some mattes and then on this side I'm using a number of liquid kind of cream eyeshadow so I've got the Inglot Acrostic, Acrostic? yeah that's an odd name uh metal is it metal cream eyeshadow in shade 13 I've then got two of the Giorgio Armani eye tints I've got 20 and 19 this one's really like warm toned when you blend it out and this one's like a really nice starting colour now I don't know if I'm going to use a brush for this or I'm going to start on my finger and we'll see how it goes so I'm just going to apply a little bit I don't know if this is too much if this is too little I have barely used this product before and obviously I could have primed but uh, I decided not to <laughs> because I'm using creams anyway. So do you see what I mean? How it almost blends out to nothing. It's just like a tint which is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. So this is number 20 that I'm going in with and I'm going to try and keep this more in the crease if we can. To be fair I should probably use a brush. I'm going to use this iconic brush. This is a bit more of a kind of buffing one. So. Okay, the brush is making it harder, and that looks awful. It worked really well with my finger. And then I tried to complicate it. So here we have the base, and then I'm going to apply the Inglot one. And I'm gonna be using a little brush. This is just a taper crease brush from Nanshi. So, wow, look at that. Insane. I'm gonna put this all over the lid, right up to the crease. This is blending so lovely. This is like the prettiest colour ever. So the creams haven't done too bad on the eyeshadow front, to be quite honest. I mean, it's not the tidiest thing in the world and it could probably do with like some blending, but 
as a start before I like clean it all up this looks really pretty and they've all blended together really nicely now the task is to recreate it with this palette so <laughs> I'm gonna see how that goes I'm gonna start with this color up here just to kind of set the lid because I don't want anything to stick and then I'm gonna go in with this kind of warm brown color no sorry the cool brown color down here all over because that's pretty much what we did with the number 19 from Giorgio Armani it was a bit kind of cooler powder eyeshadows are just so much quicker and easier to work with I think like I think it's really nice having creams because they just blend out really easily as like and they blend together easily but I feel like if you want more of an intense look powders just you can do so much more with so this look is looking way more pinky on this eye so I'm going to add some more of that warm brown so the shimmer that I'm going to use is this one down here now there is three different ones and none of them are quite the same as the one that I've used Wow, that's way too white. Okay, I'm going to mix the goldy one and this one together. And we're just going to try and go for it. Again, just brushing this over. This one's a lot more glittery as opposed to being like shimmery and reflective. It's almost chunky. But it went on really nicely. And then, as before, I blend it up to the crease and I'm just going to blend that through. It's so funny because they're pretty much similar colours on the eyes. But they look so different, like texture wise. They just look, this one looks so smooth, but this one actually looks like skin still. It's really odd. It's almost like the creams sit really, like a lot more naturally on the skin, which is, yeah, that's cool to know. Of course, I've got to do a little bit of eyeliner. So on the cream side, I'm using my Tarte Manita eyeliner. And then on the powder side, I'm using my Maybelline the Nudes eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna use the black out of it because look, I've literally just tapped it and it's so intense. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the line on this one first, just because, you know, liquid, super simple, super quick. And then just using the brush that I use for my brows, I'm gonna go in with the black shade from the Maybelline palette. This is probably one of my favorite blacks out of all of my eyeshadow palettes, which is, it's insane, because it's a drugstore product. This is super hard to do, because my lashes are so curly. So it's definitely given more of a smoky effect to the powder, and the liquid one's really black and intense and shiny, whereas this one's more smoky. So it is giving a different look, but it's black. You know, it's black, that's good. It's lined my eyes, so I'm happy. <laughs> on some foundations. Now, I'm doing a little bit of mixing and matching. So on the cream side, I'm using two. I'm using the Body Shop Matte Clay Skin Clarifying Foundation and the Giorgio Armani Powder Fabric. Because I wanted a foundation that I wouldn't need powder for, because obviously I can't put powder on, both of these are really matte, but neither are the right colour, so I'm gonna mix them. And then on my powder side, I'm using my trusty Face Finity Compact Foundation from Max Factor. This is incredible. I've used this for years. I actually did a campaign with them years ago on this and kind of showed how it lasted throughout the day, and it's just so good. I've just realised that I've done the silliest thing. I've put the amount of foundation on the back of my hand that I would need for a whole face, not just half my face. That is very silly of me, but it's just habit. So this is a mixture of the Body Shop and the Giorgio Armani. I feel like these are gonna work so well together. And I'm just applying it with my MAC. I think this is like an oval oh, brush, something like that. It is an, oh, one of those kind of flat toothbrush brushes. It's actually really, really good and I really like it. These foundations feel really thick together. I am gonna grab my beauty blender and blend this out with that now. I love how that's looking absolutely love i'll be so using this combo again of these two i think it looks amazing like the redness this side of my face compared to this side is just mad like i can literally see the line where it is because my skin looks so different that is insane and then straight onto the max factor so i'm actually going to use a brush and i'm going to be using my nanchi buff base brush and this part of foundation is in the shade 02 ivory it does come with a sponge but I am just gonna be using a brush because I know it applies really nicely with a brush. Now the shades are quite dark. Like I'm not, I'm never like the lightest shade in foundation or even like the second lightest shade. And they're all quite kind of pinky as you'll be able to see when I apply this compared to the other side of my face which is like more yellow toned. But you know, it's a good product and it suits my skin if I just do the whole of my face the same color. This is how the foundations are looking. Really love the color of this one and it feels really nice, kind of full coverage. This one is just, it, feel, it does feel quite dry because I didn't prime because obviously I, I don't own a powder primer. So that is my only criticism, but I mean, it feels really nice on and it's a really good one that you can just build up and add to throughout the day. 
powder concealer. Now you probably weren't expecting this, but I've got another of the Max Factor powder foundations. This is in the shade 01, it's gonna go under my eyes, and then I've got the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer in the shade Fair. I wanted something that was heavy duty, that I know sets down, so I didn't need to powder it. Starting with the cream side, now this is super light, but you know, that's fine. That works for me. <laughs> I like my under eyes to be bright because I just feel like it makes me look awake, which is amazing. They're probably too light, but that's just how I like it. And normally throughout the day, my makeup kind of settles in and they don't even look that bright anymore, which is why I kind of go a bit overboard to start off with. But this like concealer just feels so nice. It doesn't feel like it needs powdering at all, which is why I thought it would be the one to go with. Although one thing I am noticing using all this kind of really matte cream makeup is that everything feels quite thick and heavy. Like normally when I apply cream products, they're really light, but because I've gone for ones that I know set down matte, everything feels quite heavy, which is not what I'm used to at all. Then onto the powder side, I am actually gonna be using the sponge that comes with it this time. And I'm gonna be pressing this in under my eyes. This is like such a powerful product. It's like airbrushing. Like, don't know if you can see that. Look at that. Like, I can see it on my screen. I just think this is insane. In photos, if you want a really flawless under eye that's like matte, this powder foundation is just amazing. And that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do up my nose or on my forehead, just because I think that's just gonna overcomplicate everything. And I think it looks all right at the minute. <laughs> Onto some bronzing, some contouring. Now, I thought what would be more perfect than to use a product where I have a powder version and a cream version. So these are the Kat Von D Contour Shade and Light Palettes. And like, oh my goodness. They, the cream one's relatively new, but it is just gorgeous. I've only used it once or twice. And then of course we've got the powder version, which again, I've only used once or twice. So this is gonna be super interesting because you know, it's just a powder version or, no, a cream version of a powder product and you know, vice versa. So we'll see how this goes. So to contour on my cream side, I'm gonna be using this one just here on the same brush that I used to apply my concealer, which probably isn't very professional of me, but we're just gonna go with it. And I'm going to just draw a line like that. And then I'm gonna do one down the side of my nose as well because I always contour my nose. That's one thing I do every time I do my makeup. And I feel like it's kind of excessive, but I just, I don't know, I always do it. And I'm just gonna use this a wee face shape brush to blend everything out. It's blending super nicely. I don't really use cream contour very often, so this will be really interesting to see how it looks. Oh, it's kind of bunched up a little bit just there. I don't know if you can see. That's not good. Onto the nose contour, blending this out now. If this doesn't blend out, then you look really silly. But I think we're good. And onto the powder products, again, I'm gonna be using the same one that's in the same place as that I used on the cream one. And I'm gonna be using my Zoeva face paint brush. This is just insane. Um, just draw a little line here and here. And then I'm gonna blend this out with the brush that I used to apply the powder. Just blend slightly upwards. I feel like powder's a lot easier to blend in when it comes to contour. Well, that was quick. It's almost blended into nothing. But, I mean, I see contour. I just feel like it looks a lot more noticeable here, but in a good way. I mean, my skin's just looking like a bit of a mess on this side. I think it might be down to the lack of priming, I'm not gonna lie, because this foundation normally sits so nicely on my skin, and it just, it doesn't look that bad. It just, I think it might be like the color. Oh, I don't even know. It just doesn't look as good as this side. I'm gonna bronze now. So I'm gonna be using this color in the middle to bronze up my kind of perimeter of my face. Again, using the Eco Tools brush. This is actually a fab brush. It's really handy. And I'm just gonna kind of blend in the perimeter of my face and under my jaw bones. And fun fact, apart from this palette, I actually only own two cream bronzers, and one of which is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel, and the other one is the um, Bourjois Bronzing Primer, so it's not really a bronzer, it's like a bronzing primer. But yeah, they're the only two I own, so I thought I'd use the palette for something different. So I use the darker one on this side, and you can definitely tell it's dark, and my gosh, I'm gonna have to go back in with this and try and use the darker one. <laughs> I just, I just, I like my bronzer, okay? Okay, that's darker, there we go. Onto some blush, so for the cream side, I've got this Lancome cream blush, and then on the powder side, I've got my Major Blush by Sip and Dory in the shade Rosy Chic. So they're both quite warm, rosy, like almost ready 
blushes, and I, I'm just going to apply the cream one with a uh, like powder brush as, your, as I would a powder blush. Um, look how intense that is. You literally need the tiniest bit, and then I'm just going to blend it out. But I think like rosy blushes are so fun at this time of year because it is cold out, and you do get rosy cheeks. So I think it gives a really cute look. And then I just clean off the brush, and I'm going to use the powder one from Soap and Glory. This one's a bit more intense, so. Oh, I love this Soap & Glory, but it's so pretty. And I couldn't really do a makeup look without highlighter. Just doesn't work like that. So on my cream side, I've got the uh, Barry M Liquid Chrome Highlighter Drops in the shade Beam Me Up. So they quite like a champagne colour. And then to recreate that colour without using the Mary, Mary Lou, because I use that every time, I'm using two of the MAC highlighters. So I've got Soft and Gentle and Light Scapade, and I'm going to be mixing them. And this is going to be our colour. So I'm going to be applying this on the cream side with my Beauty Blender. A little bit under there. I've never actually used these Barry Allen ones before. I always use my iconic illuminating drops because they're like my absolute faves. So this is going to be super interesting. I feel like you can't even see it. I feel like it's blended into nothing on my cheek. You can definitely see it on my brow bone. So this is how we're looking. You definitely have to use a lot more product than you do with the iconic illuminating drops. But I think it looks really pretty. It just took a while to build up, which is not kind of what you want. But onto the powder side. So I'm literally going to grab a little bit of each and just throw it on there. Uh, this is my thing with makeup. I'm just super casual about it and we just kind of go for it. And then to match up the cream side, I'm going to do it on my brow bone. I love this little Zoeva brush, you need this. If you highlight under your brow bone on your nose, or your cupid's bow, you need this brush. It's amazing and it's really affordable. And even if you, if you want a really intense highlight here, you can just apply that as well. It's amazing. So this is the cream highlight. And then this is the powder one. So I've just been to apply some mascara because as far as I'm aware, powder mascara doesn't exist. And I don't have any powder lip products. So I'm going to apply this Too Faced Liquid Lip in the shade Cool Girl. Nice name. And we'll have a look at the final makeup look. So this is the final makeup look. We've got the cream side and the powder side. I personally think the cream side looks so much better. The powder side just looks really like cakey and patchy and like the bronzer's clung which is so weird because I didn't actually apply loads like it I know it's like dark bronzer but you know it's like fine here and then it's clung here and clung here which is really random but this side looks gorgeous I think I mean up close it definitely looks like it's sunk into the lines because I didn't prime and same here but and obviously it then hasn't been set but if I was to choose a side I prefer I would so go the cream side I loved like the liquid brow thing, I think it looks amazing, although I do like this benefit uh, powder brow this side. Again, I think the eye just looks so much more natural on this side, which look, just gives overall a really like fresh, nice look. But yeah, like it's so crazy what a difference if you use like powder products like cream products can make. Let me know, in your makeup routine, do you use more powder products or more cream products? That would be a really interesting thing to know. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. This was so much fun. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you very, very soon.